Hi, I'm Sofa Plays, and today I'm going to be talking about something that's a little bit sensitive to me. Um, so I'm just going to go out and say it. I'm Asperger's. I was diagnosed at the age of four, and it is something I've been ashamed about since forever, I think. Um, and I will sit down here and look you in the eye and say it's nothing to be ashamed about now. And it's something I've only just come to terms with. And I've, I, I am 25 years old. You, you would think, oh, why, why were you ashamed about it? And the reason for it was because of the way I was brought up. I was, my mum was told that I would never really amount to anything in life. And I was led to believe that. Like, I was led to believe that I would never be able to live on my own, that I would probably never be able to get a career, that I would never have any romantic relationships, let like alone really good friends. And that really bothered me. And because of the limitations that people put on me because of my disability, I just pretended it didn't exist. I would do everything in my power to prove that I wasn't Asperger's. Like, I'll look up all the symptoms and I'll be like, that's not me, that's not me, that's not me. You know, I, I would go out of my way to push it aside because I didn't want to be restricted based on it. Like, there is nothing worse than being told growing up that you can't do something because of something you were born with. And it always frustrated me but it got to a point where I also believed them, you know? Because at the end of the day, I did have parts of me that hindered me from succeeding socially. Um, I always felt left out. I always felt like I couldn't really relate to anybody. I always felt like I was just there in the background and that always like shouted out at me saying ah maybe everybody is right maybe you will never achieve anything and it resulted in me not really pursuing my interests because what's the point in having goals if you're told you're never going to achieve them and it got to a point where i actually believed that and i think that's why i hated associating myself by being Asperger's because what's why do you want to associate yourself with something like that so I remember I spent a lot of my childhood and, te and being a teenager fighting against that grain because I didn't want to be associated with something that's gonna put me behind in life it it made me feel sick and even worse like a lot of it was my mum telling me this and your mum is supposed to be the person that like brings you up you know and whenever she did try to bring me up she'd be like ah but just because you can't do this doesn't mean you're not smart you and you know like the whole superpower talk which i highly recommend not saying to anybody with um social disabilities because what really got me was the fact that i was never intelligent as a kid like i was like average I never had anything that was particularly unique about me, which apparently I was supposed to because I was Asperger's and that made me feel even more crappier about myself. I, I, I honestly, I felt like a failure growing up. And <laughs> even now I have really big confidence issues because of it. Whenever I want to do something, I never see myself succeeding because I know like in the back of my mind, there's going to be something pulling at me saying, Ah, uh, there's no points, you know, and I'm trying my best to push past that and I basically want to do this video because I want to reach out to the people that have been told all their lives that they can't do anything, that they'll never be able to get anywhere, that it is absolute BS. You can do whatever the heck you want to, okay? Like, I was told I wasn't supposed to be able to move out and live on my own. 
I've been living on my own for the past year now. I actually moved out with my boyfriend. Another thing, apparently people with Asperger's find it really difficult to find love. And I guess in a sense, yes, because obviously in the emotional level, it is kind of hard to relate to people, but it doesn't mean we don't feel emotions. If anything, we feel them quite <laughs> intensely sometimes. Um, and it can be very scary in a sense. And I think that's what drives it, right? It's just being, sometimes you just get too scared of something you don't understand. But my mum, even though she brought me down for a lot of things, one thing that she did bring me up to was making me travel abroad from a very young child. And what she used to do is whenever we went into a hotel, she would like force me to go into a kids club and she'd be like, all right, you go there and you're gonna spend the day there and I'll come back for you later. And obviously a child with a disability, you're probably thinking, oh my God, why why would a parent do that? That's, that's awful. But in reality, it helped me because it forced me to get out of my comfort zone, to get over that fear and actually interact. And it was probably one of the best things mom did for me was making me travel. And then when I was 11, she actually moved me to Spain. And for the first time in my life, I didn't feel like anybody was looking at me differently because at the end of the day, they came to the conclusion that the reason I didn't understand them was because I couldn't speak Spanish and <laughs> not because I had a bit of a um, social disability. And as I grew up, I started learning social cues like everybody else. And I have a wicked sense of humor. Sarcasm is my favorite form of humor, you know? Um, anyone who watches my streams will probably know that. And it just goes to show that you should never listen to what people say when it comes to yourself. Only you know yourself best. And nobody's like behind or ahead of life. You're exactly where you need to be. And whether or not you move forward is completely up to you. And I think this is why I wanted to give you this message. I'm fed up of people saying you can't do something because of a disability or because you're a woman or because you're a man or because of anything, like anything just, ugh, it frustrates me. And yeah, I, I just wanted to get that out because this is a very important topic for me and I can, for the first time in my life say, I'm not ashamed to be Asperger's and Hopefully, with that, <laughs> I'll somewhere along the way find some form of self-confidence. Wish me luck. Have a good day, all. Bye.